Welcome everybody to another 144 and 360. In this one, we're going to go over the May corn and the July beans and what's been uh, happening according to the Fibonacci retracements. Uh, no market goes up or down in a straight line for very long anyway. And uh, we're just going to show you how the thinking can change within it based on the Fibonacci retracements. Uh, what you may be looking for and what transpires is just it's an ongoing analysis. So we're going to try and take you through a little bit of this. Uh, right here in the May corn, uh, we came down to fell a couple cents short of 78.6. There's a thing to watch that uh, even coming, not not hitting it exactly or going through it by a bit or falling just slightly short, not, you know, a big amount. In this case, a couple cents. Uh, you can still get the effect from a 78.6% retracement. Now, when we look at that, we know the 144 rule is any move that uh, hits or holds 78.6% can go 78.6 the other way. Now before we get to that, we'll just take you into when it hits 61.8%, we could have been looking for 61.8% the other way. But as you see here, when we just take this retracement back to the high from here, uh, it couldn't even, it got what you'd call a dead cat bounce and that was 23%. So we know that with 23%, uh, you're either in a very strong or very weak market and looking for the next retracement above the low. In this case, one other thing about this, we cannot retrace this low back to the extreme high until this low is taken out. It does not become, it's got to be a direct move of extremes. So in this case, this was the highest high since this low. That's why we're using that one. Now, just getting back to where we are here, 78.6 should send us 78.6 the other way, and that's right up here. And this is our target of 690. Now you can see here, didn't stop at 38% back to this high, and here fell a couple ticks short of 61.8. Again, this is what we're saying about, you know, a couple ticks short or a couple cents short can still have the same effect. So we were looking for 61.8 down because of the 61.8 rule. However, and I'll show you in a second what our subscribers get as far as um, what to look for and how to approach these levels. Um, well, I'll just bring it in here real quick. Um, this is our thing for May corn. This is what our letter looks like here with our long-term, intermediate, short-term uh, swing points and targets for May last week. We were using, this was put out right here on this day here on uh, the 6th of April. Use 645 as the swing point for the week. Above it, holding this level would be a strong sign and it should go for new highs for this leg. And then 78.6 of the 10.10 low, which we had just shown you down here and the high we were talking about in March at 690. So you have this level up here that's been our target. That was a couple weeks ago. Uh, then last week it did trade below 645, but never closed below it. And today it closed above at 660, or I'm sorry, and it clo today closed above the 660 major GAN square. So we're using 660 as a swing point for the week. Monday's low uh, was 62. Above it, the target area is 690 to 699 major GAN square, just updating from the previous week as our target here. So this is what we uh, put out each week uh, below didn't matter because we never got down there. And two, the other thing is that we being a weekly thing, we have to put out what to look for just in case things happen. You still have to watch a trade above 660 that hits 71 here where we're talking about and would close back below 660. This never happened, so it becomes a mute point. So it's just a matter of what we're looking at and how we're looking at it. So you can see here this market, even though we were looking from 61 to 61, it held 38% and that's why we watch all the retracements on every move uh, just to see how weak or strong the market is. In this case, 38.2 held. Uh, always can have one close below it. The second one is the most important, as you see here. It just turned this tide here, sent it right back up, and 690 is that target. 
Now when we go into the July beans, we'll give you a little different story here, or a little picture, but same kind of thing with different levels. Uh, this low here was 61.8 of this high on uh, 1230 of last year and the 722 low. Now 61.8, as we just mentioned before, should send you 61.8 the other way. This target was hit. You can see one close above it, but right back below it. So this would have given us a 61.8 target on the downside. Now, just like corn, uh, we also put into our letter that holding 38% would be a very positive sign and new, new highs should happen for the move, which has already happened here. And our next target is 15.11. Uh, one thing also that we like to use are the GAN squares, as you can see how nicely they, uh, the, the markets trade along these levels as to highs in here. You've got lows in here, the extreme low, the 61.8 came into this 1390 major GAN square, all of these lows in here. These, uh, we like to kind of connect the two of them and use this as all of our stuff is on price analysis with two major ways of looking at it, and that's uh, WD GAN's uh, major GAN squares and the Fibonacci retracements. You remember that the market's never going to go up in one straight line for very long, and how and what it does, what you can expect from these retracements is what's key, and that's what we try to teach everybody and have them understand why we're thinking what we're thinking and uh, give you, you, you know, just watching what, what level holds tells you something and when it doesn't, it tells you something. So that's what we try and give you. Uh, that's it for this uh, video. Please uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you trade the grains, uh, please subscribe to us on uh, our webpage, 144analytics.com. And uh, we'd love to see you as a premium member. So until the next video, have a great day.